What time is it? It's time for Magic Monday with your old pal Bob. Today we're going to uh, feature another great magician. We hope that you'll enjoy. Uh, and uh, before that, though, I want to show you an optical illusion, something you don't see every day. It's a real optical illusion that's going to fool your eyes. So watch carefully. Here we go. So here's the optical illusion I wanted to show you. It's pretty amazing, and it fools the eye, and it fools your eyes, and it fools my eyes, too. Uh, what do you see there? A uh, little square with uh, four circles inside. It's what it looks like, exactly. But let me do a little magic by uh, just turning it all the way around, and there it is. There's another view. So from that view, it looks like this. But if I turn it around and show you, it looks like that. Kind of amazing optical illusion created by a mathematician. It looks really weird from either end. Four circles, or it looks like that. Just fooling the eyes here on Magic Monday. So there you have a real optical illusion. Today's show, we're going to feature Martin Lewis. Martin Lewis is the son of Eric Lewis, who uh, created a magic company that sold magic tricks, created many magic props for magicians around the world. His son, Martin Lewis, took over the business many years ago, and he has created many fantastic tricks and illusions, and has been featured as the Parlor Magician of the Year at the Magic Castle. And he also has had several creations performed by David Copperfield on several of his magic specials. So we hope that you'll enjoy Magic Monday today with our guest star, the amazing Martin Lewis. Have a great day and thanks for stopping by on Magic Monday. Thank you very much, sir, good evening. Um, it's virtually impossible to see everything there is at the Magic Castle in just one night, so I do appreciate you spending some of your time uh, here with me. I've decided to start off tonight by showing you the best magic trick in the world. <laughs> now, I know it's the best magic trick in the world because I googled it. <laughs> uh, there's a guy with a top hat and a cape and, uh, and underneath it said the best magic trick in the world. Turns out that it's a card trick. <laughs> Who knew? So, he showed the deck of cards, they're all different on one side, all the same on the other, which of course is how they make them. He, uh, he cut the cards and happened to cut a king of clubs to the face of the pack. He then placed the cards into a wine glass. He said the purpose of this was to isolate the cards from his touch. If he couldn't touch them, he couldn't do any sleight of hand. He then took that king of clubs that he cut, put it into the center of the pack, uh, covered the whole thing up uh, just briefly uh, with his pocket handkerchief, and when he removed it, the card had jumped back to the front. Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I wanted to learn how to do the trick, so I did what uh, all of you would do. I, I went to YouTube. <laughs> uh, there's always an expert there that tells you, uh, you know, exposes how you should do their, their tricks. Uh, and when I say expert, I mean some youth with nothing better to do. <laughs> and so I told him, does anybody know how you do the trick where you take a king of clubs, push it down inside the pack, uh, cover it up with, with your handkerchief, and have it jump to the front? Well, no one seemed to know. So I had to go old school. Okay. I posted the query on my Facebook wall. <laughs> Does anybody know the trick? Well, you take a king of clubs, push it down inside the pack, uh, cover it up with a, with a handkerchief, uh, and then have it jump to the front. Well, uh, one of my 5,000 friends... <laughs> one of my 500 friends... <laughs> Okay, one of my five friends <laughs> responded, he said, I don't know that trick. Uh, I do know the one where you push a king of clubs down inside the pack, uh, cover it up with a handkerchief, 
and have a joker jump to the front. <laughs> and another fellow said, oh, I know the one where you take a joker and you push it down inside the back, uh, cover it up with a handkerchief, uh, and have a king jump to the front, but nobody seemed to know the one where you take a king It's a bit of a shame really <laughs> because it means that tonight I won't be able to show you the one covered up with your handkerchief find it uh, and have it go to the front uh, uh, maybe next time <laughs> if you do want to see it it's going to be on my instagram feed <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your name Nancy. Nancy, will you do me a favor cheer up <laughs> will you do me a favor raise one finger high up in the air please good choice now what I'd like to have you do is bring it down on the back of any one of these cards that you like. This one? This one? This one? This one? This one? This one? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, take that one. Nancy, look at the card, remember it, that's important. And uh, did, did you get a look at it? Yeah, that'll help you remember it. Okay. I've got a glass of wine there. Be empty, guys. Now, I no longer need the pack because I had a premonition before I came out. I, I sort of knew what card you was going to pick. In fact, I was so sure, I drew a picture on my sketch pad. So for the first time, what was the card that you just randomly touched? The Five of Diamonds. The Five of Diamonds, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is, the Five of Diamonds. It's in the box. <laughs> In the box is not much of a trick, really, is it? But if you watch very carefully, I may be able to coax it to come out of the box. Oh. <laughs> now, here's an interesting optical illusion. If you stare at this picture unblinkingly and I move it gently up and down, it will create an illusion of movement. It looks as if that card actually moved. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, that is actually printed on there. It doesn't come off. It's completely uh, one solid piece. In fact, now see, I'm going to let you have that as a little souvenir. <laughs> What the heck?